In this video, I'm going to show you the best export setting for Photoshop when you're exporting an image for the web. So I'm going to use this image that I've created here. This is going to be the thumbnail and the website image for this video that I'm actually creating right now. So in order to export this, you want to go to file and under file you want to go to export and you want to do an export as. Now the old way was save for the web. This is the legacy version now but in the previous version save for the web was the way we did that and it's still available so if you want to do it you could change your image size here right now is 1920 by 1080 but this basically does a JPEG export or a PNG export. You can change the image quality from high to very high and it's going to change the quality of your image and it gives you the size in real time here so this is one way to do it but I'm going to show you the new way to do that which is go to export and then export as this is the new way to do it in Photoshop CC 2017 and beyond this is a really easy way to do it basically you just go to file settings and in this case I want JPEG PNG would be handy if you had some transparency in your image for example if I wanted the background to be transparent and I just want the text to show up but in this case going for the web I'm gonna go JPEG and the image quality I 100% even though if the size ends up being too big I could always reduce this to reduce the size then the image size is what's gonna change the file size so right now if I'm looking at the file size here on the left it says one megabyte one megabyte is a large size for a website image but I don't need 1920 by 1080 for YouTube I might leave it as that because YouTube does its own compression but for my website I want to reduce this and I know the website icon is about 650 and it's doing the height adjustment for you so this image was originally 1920 by 1080 so by decreasing it you see the file size significantly decreased 198k that was from one megabyte so it's about one fifth of the size so I'm just gonna press plus here to just bring it to full size so 650 by 366 that's what I'm gonna go for convert to smart RGBs checked on I do always want to check that when I'm going to the web that's a better option for the web if I decrease the image quality here let's say I decrease take a look at the size it got cut by another half there so it's almost at a hundred so if you really are concerned about your website speed you should reduce this as much as you can but I like to keep the image quality at a hundred but I never like to go less than 80 either so if you do reduce it and you care about the file size being smaller make sure you don't go lower than 80 percent file size based on what you need for YouTube I'm gonna do 1920 by 1080 and I'm gonna just press export all I'm gonna put it here in my JPEG folder and it's just gonna go ahead and export this image for me. So those are your best Photoshop settings when you're going to the web. If you're just going on YouTube and you don't wanna compress it, you could actually go to File, Save As, and under Save As, you could just change it from Photoshop to JPEG. That's gonna give you the one megabyte version I, I had before, so it's not doing further compression than that basic compression setting. So since I have a 200K image from before, I'm gonna keep that as that, but I'm gonna use this for YouTube. So I'm just gonna replace the name of this, and I'm just gonna put YouTube at the end of it. I'm gonna press OK. The maximum quality is gonna be 12. See, that's giving me the one megabyte image. I'm just gonna press OK. So now I have two different versions of that file, one for my website and one for YouTube. To watch more how-to videos, go to howfinity.com or subscribe to our YouTube page. Thanks for watching.